God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. I, Scott, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I, Scott, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Elizabeth, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I, Elizabeth, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. It is my pleasure to present to you, Scott and Elizabeth, newly married. You may kiss the bride. absolute honor to be asked by the best man that you know to be his. He's the best brother and friend that I could have ever asked for. Um, and he married well. He married a wonderful, wonderful young lady. The air that I breathe from this in peace wasn't complete before you because you are um, You know, she's the type of girl that really deserves an incredible husband. And I want to welcome her to our family and just, I'm so thankful that she married Scott before she came to her senses. <laughs> when Scott and Liz first asked me to give a speech at their wedding, I had a lot of good ideas. First, I was thinking I wanted to do something that would really embarrass Scott. So I was gonna show you a picture of his haircut this picture. I know. The men in my family typically wear their hair short, and Liz likes hair a little bit longer. So Scott, a couple years ago, he wore his hair like this because he loves Liz. Scott is a very special guy. One of the ways he's so special is in how, how meticulous he is. He's always been very organized. The things that he owns are very important to him. Uh, they always have their, their own specific place. And up until now, the only thing he hadn't found the right place for was himself. And sitting there right next to Liz, he's in just the right spot the perfect spot. Everyone please join me, raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Scott Myers. May they enjoy a flourishing love, an unbreakable bond, and a lifetime of being in just the right place. <laughs> <laughs> 